Hello. I'm the Doctor. Welcome to Watch More Jewel, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 British TV series of all time. For this list, we're looking at the most beloved and iconic British shows that have captivated audiences for decades. From comedies to dramas, sci-fi to thrillers, we've got it all, but we'll be excluding talk shows, documentaries and panel shows this time round. That is Louis XIV. Am I right, your lordship? Spot on, Trotter. Number 20. Good Omens. Be funny if we both got it wrong, eh? If I did the good thing and you did the bad one. <laughs> no. Wouldn't be funny at all. Based on the beloved novel by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, Good Omens is a charming and irreverent fantasy series about the angel Aziraphale and the demon Crowley who team up to prevent the coming Armageddon. We can do something. I have an idea. No, I am not interested. With its witty dialogue, endearing characters and whimsical plot, it's a must watch for fans of the paranormal. But the real heart of this series comes from the amazing chemistry between David Tennant and Michael Sheen. They are truly a match made in heaven. Or is it hell? Well, there really is no need for that kind of language. Number 19. Luther. She did it. You knew it was just a matter of time before a crime drama popped up on here, so let's start with a strong one. Idris Elba stars as John Luther, a brilliant but troubled detective who is both feared and respected by his colleagues. Luther is a gripping and intense crime thriller that showcases Elba's exceptional acting skills and explores the dark and complex psyche of its protagonist. Listen, I don't respond well to threats. If you're looking for something that'll have you biting your nails throughout its tensest scenes, Luther is the show for you. Stay down, stay down, stay down, you'll be all right. <laughs> Number 18, Spaced. I see contemporary arts, a dirty plate heaped with worthless junk food and I want something more nourishing. Like sausages. Did you quickly fall in love with Edgar Wright's Cornetto trilogy? Well, here's its origins. A cult classic created by Simon Pegg and Jessica Hines, spaced as a hilarious and quirky sitcom about two strangers turned flatmates who survive together in London. Is all this really necessary? Well, yes. What if I asked a number of intimate personal questions? Its quick-witted dialogue, relatable characters and pop culture references make it an instant favourite for anyone who's ever felt like an outsider. And yes, Nick Frost's character Mike Watt is absolutely brilliant throughout it. You've seen combat? Yes, yes I have. Where? Um, on the television. Number 17, Fleabag. Oh, give it a minute. Oh, God, seriously, what is wrong with your inside? What? Black comedy is a difficult genre to nail, but this series got it right. Phoebe Waller-Bridge stars as the titular Fleabag, a young woman navigating love, loss and existential crises in modern-day London. Would that mean you're a millionaire now, Andy? Featuring a creative use of direct-to-camera confessions and devastatingly funny writing, Fleabag became an instant hit for its portrayal of grief, guilt, love and, yes, lust. Even if this doesn't sound like something that would usually be your cup of tea, you would be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't give it a go. Oh dear. Oh, is that holy? A bit less than it was before. Number 16. The IT Crowd. You want to seal the deal with a high five? <laughs> Yes. Set in the IT department of Renome Industries, the IT crowd is a hilarious workplace comedy that put its cast of Chris O'Dowd, Richard Ayoade and Catherine Parkinson on the map. Oh, four! I mean five! I mean fire! Its absurd humour, lovable characters and clever satire of office life make it a perfect pick for anyone who's ever worked in an office. There's a good reason fans have been quoting it for nearly two decades now. Number 15, Derry Girls. If we get expelled, nobody ever actually gets expelled. Rhonda Gallagher hasn't even been expelled and she's an ARA. I'd say that's probably why. Taking place in Northern Ireland during the 1990s, Derry Girls is a charming and funny coming-of-age comedy about a group of four teenage girls and one honorary girl. Why is he making that funny noise? He's English, Ola. That's the way they talk. From Ola's ditziness to Erin's neurotic ways, every interaction between the girls will have you cackling 
Its relatable characters and heartwarming stories about friendship and family will leave you nostalgic for your own teen years, especially with that killer soundtrack. Well, there was absolutely no need for that. Number 14. The Thick of It. You're clever, aren't you? Very, very clever. How much does your head weigh? A political satire that skewers the inner workings of the British government, The Thick of It is a hilarious and biting comedy that follows the dysfunctional team of Malcolm Tucker, a foul-mouthed spin doctor. But she's not my girlfriend, Malcolm. So oh, well, you won't mind no if idea. I kill her then, will you? The razor-sharp dialogue, memorable characters, and insider knowledge of political life make it mandatory viewing for fans of cynical humour. Just when you think any situation couldn't possibly get any worse, it does. Who knew politics could be this crass? What we need is something that the public want, is incredibly popular and is free. Return of capital punishment. Number 13. Happy Valley. Are you going to let me do this? It don't hurt. A gripping crime drama set in the Yorkshire Dales, Happy Valley follows Sergeant Catherine Kaywood as she faces personal demons while pursuing justice across West Yorkshire's Calder Valley. I'm just ignoring that. No, I'm not. You've got a torch, haven't you? It's got complex characters, a taut plot, and earth-shattering revelations, making it a compelling and unforgettable series that will keep you on the edge of your seat. For those who can handle a dash of grim reality in their police dramas, Happy Valley stands tall. No, you're right. Ignoring it won't make it go away, will it? Number 12. Red Dwarf. Can't say I'm totally shocked. A sci-fi comedy that's been running for over 30 years, Red Dwarf follows the crew of the mining ship Red Dwarf, who are stranded in space after an accident. Well, it starts that way, at least. Red Dwarf is an absolute riot from start to finish, tackling the space setting in some of the most unique and creative ways. Mr. Flibble's very cross. <laughs> you shouldn't have run away from him. You've got a human, a hologram, a cat man, and an android who, for the most part, would rather do without each other's company, but they're all they've got. But it sure as hell beats hanging around some of those aliens and monstrosities they encounter during their escapades. Wait. Are you trying to tell me everybody's dead? Number 11. The Office. That's racist. Next comes Ricky Gervais's groundbreaking mockumentary-style sitcom, The Office. Depicting day-to-day -day activities inside paper company Wernham Hogg, capturing cringe-worthy moments led by delusional manager David Brent, turning awkwardness into art form, influencing countless comedies worldwide thereafter. <laughs> well, I think... See you later. See you later. While the US version would fizzle out after spanning nine seasons, the British one kept it as a snug two, meaning it never lost its appeal. It's a classic that will make you laugh and cringe in equal measure, and honestly, who could forget that dance? <coughs> Number 10. The Crown. I was instructed to dress modestly, speak in a lower voice and walk one pace behind my husband and address him always as sir. A historical drama series that chronicles the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, The Crown is a stunningly produced and beautifully acted show that offers a glimpse into the life of one of the most famous monarchs in history. It has come to my attention that for a period of time last week, my Prime Minister was incapacitated. It has tackled some of the biggest controversies the country has seen with class and honesty, allowing it to be enjoyed by both royalists and those who don't know a thing about the British royal family. From Claire Foyle to Olivia Colman and finally Imelda Staunton, Queen Elizabeth's story was told through some of the best acting you'll find on any programme. You are the rarest of things, someone that is easy to like and trust. Number 9. Monty Python's Flying Circus. Oh, no, they're not. Yeah. No, they didn't realise they were supposed to start. A groundbreaking sketch comedy series that changed the face of British comedy, Monty Python's Flying Circus is a surreal and hilarious work of art. While the movies produced by the group would take the world by storm, this sketch series shows their brilliant origins. Oh, yes, the Norwegian blue. What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's dead, that's what's wrong with it. You've got the Dead Parrot and Ministry of Silly Walk sketches that still have fans, new and old, roaring with laughter. There's a reason why some of its quotes are still spammed on internet forums to this day. Wait, did someone say... spam? I'm having spam, 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 sp
Alexandra Avenue, 100 metres, repeat, 100 metres. A gripping police procedural that follows the work of anti-corruption unit AC-12. Line of Duty is a tense and thrilling series that explores the murky world of police corruption. There are things I can do to help, if you say so. The show would likely rank higher if it wasn't for the rather divisive final season, but nonetheless, this show is elite. Brutal interrogation scenes, epic chases, anxiety-inducing showdowns, you name it. Line of Duty is a truly addictive show that will keep you guessing until the very end. Nobody leaves these rooms except myself and D.I. Fleming. Number 7. Faulty Towers Will you stop talking about the war? Me? You started it? We did not start it. Yes, you did. You invaded Poland. <coughs> That's right. John Cleese strikes again. A classic sitcom set in a struggling hotel, Faulty Towers follows the hapless Basil Faulty and his long-suffering wife Sybil as they try to keep their business afloat, despite the incompetence of their waiter, Manuel. Well, of course it's a rat. You have rats in Spain, don't you? Or did Franco have them all shot? This <laughs> <laughs> stuff, it's a rat! You might have trouble showing some of its less politically correct scenes to younger audiences, but regardless, Faulty Towers will surely have you in stitches. It's incredible how much of an impact it had, with such a short run of just 12 episodes. This Finnish floozy is your karate teacher, is she? Well, it's a sort of karate, isn't it? Right, give me that. What? Number six, Black Adder. Ah! You have a woman's hand, my lord. Black Adder is a show unlike any other. It's a historical comedy series that follows the misadventures of the Black Adder inhabiting whatever time period the season tackles, often having his aspirations crushed by the presence of his lovable but utterly incompetent sidekick, Baldrick. Together we'll fight for king and country and be sucking sausages in Berlin by tea time. But it's not just about the laughs, as this series has proven with its finale, it can both teach and tug at the heartstrings too. Simply put, Blackadder is a masterpiece of British comedy. Flash by name, flash by nature. <laughs> <laughs> Number 5. Sherlock. Oh, noises are important. Noises can tell you everything. For instance... Everyone's got their favourite Sherlock, and for many, it's Benedict Cumberbatch. A modern retelling of the classic Sherlock Holmes stories, Sherlock follows the brilliant detective and his loyal companion John Watson as they solve crimes in 21st century London. Afghanistan or Iraq. Benedict Cumberbatch's iconic portrayal as Holmes propels it into the upper rankings of worldwide television, but actors like Martin Freeman and Andrew Scott are just as vital to the show's success. It's smart, it's suspenseful, and sometimes... It's pretty damn funny. It's obvious, isn't it? It's not obvious to me. Dear God, what is it like in your funny little brains? It must be so boring. Number four, Peep Show. Four nan, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. We'd argue that this is the best sitcom of the 21st century. A cringeworthy show about two dysfunctional flatmates, Peep Show is a unique and unconventional comedy that smashes the fourth wall to give viewers a glimpse into the inner thoughts and insecurities of its characters. I notice I'm not saying anything. Ah, uh, still not saying anything? Mark and Jeremy are probably the worst influence on each other's lives, and yet they just can't get away from each other. It's a show that will make you laugh out loud and cringe in sympathy at the same time. Surprise! H Hello, it, it, it's me. Look, I, I've surprised you. What, what, a, what a brilliant joke. Number three, Downton Abbey. I sometimes feel I'm the only one who knows what's going on over there. A sumptuous historical drama set in the early 20th century, Downton Abbey follows the lives of the aristocratic Crawley family and their servants. With your permission, dear, I'll take my fences one at a time. Intricate storylines weave together themes of love, ambition and societal change, all set against stunning costumes and sets that will have you pausing just to take it all in. Downton Abbey is a captivating and romantic series that will transport you back in time. Downton must be self-supporting if it's to have a chance of survival. Number two, Only Fools and Horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, go on, carry on. Yeah, yeah. A beloved classic sitcom about two lovable rogues, Del Boy and Rodney Trotter, who try to make a living in London's working-class world. Their get-rich schemes more often than not end in complete failure, but fans stuck on the ride despite knowing the outcome. 
It's not just a comedy series, it's a show that brought families together on the couch for years. Only Fools and Horses is a British institution that will never be forgotten. Yeah, you own companies, corporations, conglomerates everywhere. It was horrible. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Doctor Who Amelia Bond hasn't lived here in a long time. How long? It's just that important. The longest running science fiction television series in the world, Doctor Who follows the adventures of the Doctor, a time travelling alien who explores the universe in his TARDIS. Everyone's heard the name, everyone's seen at least one episode, everyone knows the impact it's had on television as a whole. Then I become like them. I'd be no better than the Daleks. Whether you've stuck around for the less well-received later series, or are still repeat-watching the likes of David Tennant and Tom Baker, there's so many ways to enjoy this series. Doctor Who is a British treasure that has captured the hearts of generations. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterberus. I'm 903 years old and I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all 6 billion people on the planet. What do you think deserves a spot on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Take it all, baby! Have it! You have it all! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.